red one through to Edwards, he comes back to Flores. Goes here, Dewsbury out to the left hand side, but he shoots and scores. Arsenal season is up and running with a fabulous goal from Marcelo Flores. Flores, going away to the left, goes here, Dewsbury. An option that he opts to use. Looking really threatening here, this man in particular, Flores, goes between a few challenges, still the ball glued to his right foot, plays the 1-2, it's still Flores, it's Edwards, and it's 2 for Arsenal, it's a brilliant move, and Flores at the heart of it, constantly involved, a lovely 1-2, before sliding it to Edwards, Arsenal double their lead, and there could be more to come. Arsenal with players high up the field, including Flores, who's been impressive throughout. And Marcelo Flores gets another goal. His second of the game. A celebration we might see a bit more of this season based on today's performance. Arsenal restore their two-goal lead. He's got Flores in field, Marcelo Flores, who's on a hat-trick. And still Marcelo Flores, there is the hat-trick. Three goals of unbelievable quality. A day to remember for the Arsenal number 10. And his third, again, was brilliant skill. And then a composed finish. Flores, Ambris, devolución para 10. Viene Flores, lo marca Otegi, centro de Rabona. Josie Adjubri to the left, and this could be a chance for the number 11. It's plenty of the ball in Norwich. Totally aware of his threat as he finds Edwards, who goes around Truman. Que obligó a México a esto. Flores se mete al área, saca al centro. Muchas veces las posiciones, uno queda de pistón, el otro se libera al revés. Eh, mucha polinfusionalidad entre Mariscal y Ambris en el mediocampo hasta acá. On the left hand side. Time to get a cross in, and the cross is a good one, it's a really good save from. Darting in field, it's a 1 2, and it's a chance for Edwards, and Arsenal are in front. La juega para Marcelo Flores. Vamos a ver a Marcelo. Se va a meter al área. Aquí su calidad de pegó. Flores con la pelota, engancha hacia el medio, sigue Flores, el derechazo y hay gol de México, gol de México, lo hizo Marcelo Flores. Y ojo con esta con Campos, va hasta la línea de fondo atrás con Flores, puede venir Flores, gol de México. Doing well to stay on his feet, and it's Flores and Arsenal equalize. They were behind for just four minutes before a decisive move down the left hand way from Carsley and it's Flores and it's still Flores and he's back off the post and Edwards offside so he finds Flores Flores looking to feed Edwards who is beyond his man and Edwards in for Arsenal who take the lead players in Arsenal colours starting to join him as sweet finds Flores options either side Flores shoots it's saved it's Sago Junior to break your face That's a brilliant save. Curling a ball over the top and Flores will just about get there first. He's got Brian Ward in front of him. Twisting, turning shot, saved by Gunter. Marcelo Flores, the ability to go either way and he twisted and turned. The Spurs defence didn't know what to do. Flores, slides. 
Finding one in, Sego Jr. Gets his shot in, saved by Gunter at the near post and nearly over the line from Jubri. Will bring Sweet into play. And it's his ball in and it's Flores arriving on Arsenal back in front. Just three minutes since Palace the equaliser and Marcello Flores. On it goes towards Beardeth. Another promising opportunity. Flores! Could get even worse for the visitors. Could get even better for Arsenal. Oh, off the line. Space and that's enough for the shot that cannons back off the bar. Flores combining. What Flores can do even in these tight areas as he twists and turns. Flores, space here. That could be important for Arsenal as he finds the run of Edwards. He's possessed by his fellow number 10, Marcello Flores. Koji Jubri spotting the eyes of Flores making the run, the ball in at the near post. Flores, qué bueno es este número 10. Arranca Flores, cambia de frente, qué buena pegada. Le puso la pelota con ventaja hacia adelante a Brain. Junto de Pesicar esa pelota estaba Ignacio Sosa. La tiene Marcelo Flores. Ahí va el rodeo de Flores. Flores. Looking up, he's Arsenal's playmaker and he's ping one out to the far side. The chance for Arsenal to come forward on the left hand side. David Bertain has some defending to do. Still the chance, opens with a shot. In the end it's short, it's worked really well. And it's the opening goal. Marcelo Flores for Arsenal. Meanwhile, going forward, look at the pace here, running through the middle. Dubri again, found by uh, Marcelo Flores. And it straight to Hutchinson. And on it goes to Flores and up towards Beardet. Underneath it, heading it back across. Beardet and there's Flores. And just like that, Arsenal take the lead. Well, get to Theo Flores, who's just able to shrug off the defenders. Pull it into the path of Beerek with it, and Kozio Dubri has the pace to then get in behind. Well, Flores is really enjoying himself out there today. He carries it from one side of the penalty area to the other. He's still in possession. Marcelo Flores, they can't get the ball off him at the moment. And Flores, who's twisting and turning, trying to find the opening. Dubri. There's a chance now for Flores to make it four, and he obliges to second of the game. It's even more impressive that celebration. Hutchinson into the box. Flores can he score? Lifts it over the keeper, and there's one goal back for Arsenal. Well, here's Flores. He's got support on his left-hand side. It's James Oleinka running through. Cleared off the line. His debut for the Baggies as a 15-year-old. His Premier League debut at 16. Support though, it's a really nice first touch by Ole Inca. Might break now for Hutchinson. Lines up a strike. Marcello Flores from the Arsenal left. Looking to cut in on his rifle. Then. Muy importante. Y ahí se viene México otra vez con su número 10. Es una pesadilla. Flores la pone a correr González y puede venir del Cebay. Se viene Escalone. Ahí va Gusto. Y es contra el 10. Gana el de México. Que es Flores. Switching to his left, a shot that's saved by Casper. Marcelo Flores. <laughs> the usual run up, but it's effective. And the Gunners finally get the lead that their play has deserved.
comes and it is the excellent Flores who gets it. It's his fourth at this level. It's his tenth of the season across both age groups. Marcelo Flores could not miss. Struggling for their lives at Leeds tonight at Premier League 2 first team level. Flores so close to a second. All the reasons why he's such a prospect there. Quick interchange of the pass, juggling the ball from right foot to left. Point at Emirates Stadium. You look like you enjoyed yourself out there tonight. How did you find it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, uh, I think uh, we had a decent team performance. We all uh, worked really hard, did really well. Uh, happy to score the goal as well, and um, happy to point and finish the league, finish the season strong. You mentioned your goal there. Can you talk us through it? It seemed quite quite an instinctive strike from you. Yeah, um, yeah, it was uh, just a reaction off the keeper and getting a final finish to it. Really, yeah. And you had a few chances just before that as well. One went just over the bar. It seemed like you were really trying to get trying to get a goal today. Yeah, just really been practicing uh, just individual product and product. In the final third, just obviously getting that yard for a shot uh, the best I can. But um, yeah, I, th I, I think I tried it today. It uh, came off, didn't come off today, but we, I'll keep trying it. Yeah. And looking, at your, looking back at your season as a whole, you obviously started with the under 18s, and as the season developed, you came into the 23s more. You've really become a regular at this level, and you've even made the bench a handful of times for the first team with Mikel. Have you? How, how do you assess your development this season as a player? Yeah, I think um, I think uh, I was uh, not saying anything to big myself up or anything, but I don't think my level was quite 18s this year. So start off the season not very happy, uh, but obviously just got my head down, worked as hard as I can, try to show what I could do in the 18s. That I deserve to be up here in the 23s, and then feel like I uh, came in, ended up getting a bit of minutes and then showing what my qualities were in the 23s and. Obviously, ended up in starting and getting a couple of goals this season to con contribute for the team. And how do you feel at this level now that you've sort of had a had a fair few months playing at 23? Is that you feeling comfortable at this yeah, level? Yeah, I feel more comfortable. I'm trying to get, push myself on to first team level. Obviously, I've been in and around Mexican first team and around internationally, but yeah, I'm trying to bring what I learned there here and obviously what I learned there and just trying to push both to get to first team however I can. You mentioned your experience with the Mexican national team there. Fans non-stop are asking us about you playing for the national team with Mexico. How do you find that experience? Uh, yeah, uh, it's amazing. The, the fans there in Mexico are uh, more than more than normal. They just give me so much support, um, and yeah, it just uh, gives me a lot of confidence when I come here and also when I go there. Just feeling happy playing. Got your sights set on the World Cup? Uh, no, nah, just working my hardest trying to prove them why that I can be. That I have a chance to go, obviously, do my best I can, so give them, show them what I can do so maybe they could bring me. And just back to ask them finally, what are some of your goals you've got now that the season ended? You can take stock and reflect on how you've done. What are some of your goals looking ahead to next season? Um, obviously, I'm trying to increase the number of goals always, goals and assists. Obviously, it's a very important nowadays game, but uh, yeah, I just I feel like I, I started off okay decent amount of goals this year but I think I could have got many more and uh, be pushing for much more next year.